Well, hi there, everybody, and good morning to meteorologist Travis Klineski here. Another day of high fire danger out there as winds will pick back up this afternoon out of the north and northwest behind a cold front. And uh, the air is going to be drier as you go to the west, lower relative humidity levels. Uh, so near and west of Highway 281, you're going to have a red flag warning in place this afternoon through the early evening hours, either starting at, well, most of that starting at 1 o'clock this afternoon, continuing until either 7 or 8 o'clock, 8 o'clock up here, 7 o'clock here. Um, also seven o'clock out here so um seven o'clock central time eight o'clock mountain time there um, but anyway um we are going to see that higher fire threat once again more winds but not as bad as it was yesterday it was so windy yesterday not as bad for today so let's set up the uh, scenario what is going on right now well we had a warm front that's lifted to the northeast now east and northeast a cold front that's now moving into the western half of the area out ahead of it southeast winds a little breezy here they're lighter here and then they're picking back up behind this out of the north and northwest. There's not much moisture out there right now, but we could see some pockets of some light rain sprinkles or drizzle this morning. Maybe a little better chance in eastern Nebraska through the morning hours here. Maybe some thunder showers right here. Uh, by noon, cold front's making its way through Highway 281 here. So uh, behind that front, you'll see those winds turn northwesterly, north and northwesterly, and you'll see the sunshine return. So maybe some showers through the early afternoon in eastern Nebraska, but they will see sun later today as well. And when, again, winds a little on the breezy side. They won't be bad, as bad as yesterday, but they will be noticeably breezy out there for today. Tonight, the winds will die down. Skies will remain mostly clear. A fairly quiet night, a little chillier tonight because of the clear skies. Then we start to see some upper-level clouds approaching from the south tomorrow morning. Clouds on the increase during the day tomorrow as a warm front lifts northward. Maybe some late-day showers isolated thunderstorms in the south stronger southeasterly winds it's going to be a little windier tomorrow not still not as bad as what we saw yesterday on tuesday but they will be stronger than today's winds those winds will be up there around 20 25 miles per hour gusts exceeding 35 miles per hour so a fairly windy day on your thursday and the winds will stay somewhat strong thursday night as showers and isolated thunderstorms lifting northward with that cold or warm front and we'll have to watch for at least the chance of some elevated thunderstorms including maybe a little bit of severe weather chances greater the farther east that you go through the overnight hours then as we get into your friday morning that moisture starts to lift to the north skies will clear up on friday south winds are really going to crank up we are talking about a very windy day on friday and a hot day on Friday, all ahead of an approaching storm system, which will bring us our next chance of rain and thunderstorms late Friday into Friday night. So first back to yesterday's severe, or sorry, Thursday evening severe weather chance. Again, as that warm front is lifting northward, that could trigger some showers, some isolated thunderstorms. Chance of severe weather greatest in our southeastern communities where there is a slight risk of severe weather, a smaller end chance right in here. So I do think chances are greatest right in here. Uh, large hail is probably your primary threat, maybe some strong wind gusts during the overnight hours. Then we jump to Friday. We'll talk about that more in just a bit, actually. All right, let's look at highs for today. Mid to upper 60s, lower to mid 70s. It will warm up this afternoon despite a cold front coming through, so not too bad temperature-wise, a little on the breezy side. A little colder tonight into the uh, 30s and lower 40s for overnight lows. Warmer temperatures on your Thursday, high temperatures into the 70s. It will be a windier day on Thursday. Thursday night, a very mild night with that warm front lifting northward. Clouds, maybe a chance of moisture. Lows in the 50s and lower 60s early on Friday morning. And then Friday, here it is, that hot and windy day. We are talking about upper 80s and lower 90s, perhaps mid 90s. Hot near record high temperature territory Friday afternoon. And we could see a higher fire threat out there, especially as a dry line approaches from the west. Right now, I think your biggest chance, your best chance of fires to get out of control would be right in here. But again, I mentioned that we're going to see some really strong south winds. Winds out of the south on Friday could be sustained at 25 to 40 miles per hour with gusts that could exceed 50 miles per hour. That's stronger than what we had yesterday. So a whole lot of wind. It's going to feel like a hairdryer out there on Friday with that heat and the wind. And again, that fire threat will be high. And then as that dry line moves in from the west, we are going to see showers and thunderstorms develop late in the afternoon and into the evening hours. And that sets the stage for potentially some severe weather. A large part of the local four viewing area is under a slight risk of severe weather for late Friday afternoon into Friday night. We're looking at the threat of some damaging wind gusts, 
some large hail, perhaps an isolated tornado or two can't be completely ruled out. Let's look at a couple of long range forecast models. This is the European model. This is starting Friday morning at 7 a.m. Again, that round of thunderstorms, showers and thunderstorms lifting northward. And then look at this as the winds crank up on Friday out of the south, strong southerly winds. And then late in the day, Friday, we could see showers and thunderstorms developing along a dry line. Those will then push eastward Friday night, severe weather possible. Maybe a little bit of wraparound moisture coming in for Saturday, but by Saturday afternoon, most of us will be looking at drier conditions out here. There may be another round of some severe weather right in here to our southeast late in the day, Saturday into Saturday evening, but otherwise, most of the wraparound moisture to our north. I'd love to see that in our area. Unfortunately, though, we'll get dry slotted and we'll miss out on that moisture here heading into Sunday morning. As for uh, the GFS model, it's a little slower, but does develop showers and thunderstorms late Friday into Friday night. There's that chance of some strong to severe thunderstorms, strong winds. I back up real quick here. Look at the strong south winds, that hot weather out there. And again, those thunderstorms possible. A little bit of wraparound moisture on Saturday, but for most of us, we're going to miss out. There's that extra little chance of some severe weather later in the day, Saturday in the southeast. But other, unfortunately, the good moisture to our north misses us. We'll get dry slotted right in there. The rest of your seven day forecast after this moisture moves out on Saturday. Unfortunately, it looks like our moisture chances are pretty slim through the rest of the weekend into early next week. Temperatures will be coming down after Friday. We'll cool down, but it's still going to be very windy Saturday and Sunday and then not as windy Monday and into Tuesday. I want to thank you all for watching on this Wednesday morning, and I will see you all again on Thursday and with all the latest in your forecast. Until then, take care. Enjoy your Wednesday and God bless. Bye.